bringing you a little bit of Wales to Canada with some of my favourite jam splits. Let's see how easy these are to make. Welcome back to my channel everyone, it's Angela from Bake Angel and if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out the description for the link to the recipe on my website for the jam splits. So if you've ever made Welsh cakes before you're going to recognize this recipe because the base is actually the same. We just do something a little different at the end to add some jam to them. So here I'm just combining my self-raisin flour, white sugar, a little pinch of salt and also some plant-based butter and you're going to rub those together with your hands until they form a breadcrumb consistency. Now we're not using a mixer because this comes together really really quickly and I find I actually prefer just to use my hands so I can get a better feel for the consistency of our mix. To that I've just added some plant-based milk and also an egg and then I'm just giving it a little bit of a stir with my spatula to get things going. Then I'm going back to finishing it off with my hands. And all I'm doing here is bringing those ingredients together until they start to form a dough. You're sort of kneading it a little bit but not the way that you would knead bread on a counter surface. And you'll notice that it is really really sticky at this stage but don't be tempted to stop and wash your hands. You want to keep going until the dough actually loses its stickiness. As you can see here it will eventually come together really nicely and it actually kind of cleans off of your hands as well. Next we're ready to roll out so I'm just flouring my surface and giving it a little bit of an extra knead and again like I mentioned if you've made Welsh cakes before you'll probably notice we don't have any dried fruit in this one. I actually prefer my jam splits without fruit in them because we'll be adding jam to them instead. So now I've got my paint stirrer sticks at the side of my dough and I'm just using my rolling pin to roll them out. This will give me a depth of about a quarter inch. And the paint stirrers are a really great hack that you can pick up for free from your hardware store and they'll ensure that your jam splits are the same depth. Next I'm cutting them with my scalloped circle cutter or you could just use a regular round one if you don't have a scalloped one. I personally just prefer the look of it. I think it's a little bit more traditional when they have that scalloped edge. As you're working your way through the dough and rolling and cutting, just make sure that you gather up any of the off cuts that are left each time you roll. Roll those back together as you can see me doing here and then just keep re-rolling and cutting until you have used up all of the dough. Now don't worry if you end up with a couple of small ones at the end. Those are always the great ones that the kids like to run for once they're baked and you should end up with roughly 12 from this recipe. Okay perfect now we are going to go ahead and bake them and as you can see here I'm using an electric griddle for them. I haven't oiled the surface but you can if you need to and I've set my temperature to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also bake these in a pan as well. They take about three to four minutes on each side and you can see here they do start to go a little bit golden brown. You want to wait until the entire surface is golden brown before you start turning them. As you can see here, I'm just using a spatula to do that. My griddle doesn't have a very even heat across it, so some are a little bit darker than others. But don't worry if that happens to yours, they will still taste wonderful, I guarantee it. Okay, so now that we've done our first flip, they're going to cook again for another three to four minutes for the second side. I wanted to give you a close-up look of the size of them. This is how you can tell when your jam splits or Welsh cakes are ready. The sides will actually go quite matte. They shouldn't be translucent at all. That means that they're fully baked inside. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and toss them in white sugar. For jam splits, you don't have to do that. That's not the more traditional way of serving them. But if you're making regular Welsh cakes, you absolutely would want to toss them in white sugar. And I think we will actually toss these ones. My kids definitely prefer to have the extra sugar on them. So again, just set up another bowl with your white sugar and just toss them evenly in it. And you don't need any oil or anything to get it to stick because the Welsh cakes are still hot. They will actually keep the sugar on them and they look perfect. You could eat them right away as they are now, but we will be going on and doing the final stage to turn them into jam splits.
So now that our jam splits are ready, we can cut them in half and then you just want to get a nice good dollop of your jam and spread that in the center. This is some of my homemade strawberry jam and if you are looking for an easy recipe, this is a two ingredient jam that I always make every year with freshly picked berries. Check out the link in my description and also above and you can find my recipe for that jam. And of course, if you're not a fan of strawberry jam, you could use any other flavor that you like, but I find it, it's really nice and it complements the actual Welsh cake dough so perfectly when you add strawberry jam to them. Pop the other half back on, tap it in place, and it is ready to go. So let's just do a couple more of those. There's always the great debate in my house. Should we have them with jam or without jam? Let me know in the comments below which one you think you would try, and also if you ever actually have eaten Welsh cakes. I'd love to know what you think of these. So there we have my really easy jam split recipe. Again, if you're a fan of Welsh cakes, you are absolutely going to love these. I'd love to know what you think of them. Make sure as well that you do check out the website bakeangel.com where you can find the full printable recipe for these and also a little bit more information about Welsh cakes as well. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.